what's going on guys, Arix here, welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne and today we are talking about the KO King. Capcom dropped another two weapon videos and today's focus is the hammer and the hunting horn. In this one, we're going to break down the hammer because, uh, yo, the KO King is getting some pretty spicy moves and also we get a look at one of my favourite new armor sets. So if you guys do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think of this, let me know what you think of these new moves, and of course don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future Monster Hunter content because there's going to be so much that uh, you're going to lose count. So let's start by talking about the armor because before we even talk about moves, this is the Bambaro armor set and it looks incredible. It is the, uh, the fluffiest, bulkiest, viking looking armor, but uh, you guys know me. I like my beards, and given that in Monster Hunter World the beards were, they were alright, but they were not fully fledged, shall we say, then this is going to be the next best thing. The armor just looks incredible, I absolutely love it. We did get a look at the female version as well, of course we get a look at that on the uh, title screen. It was also at the very end of one of the previous trailers as well, but looks very awesome, and he appears to be wielding what I assume is the Master Rank upgraded version of the Bone Hammer. Looks really cool. I'm liking those sort of hefty fangs in the front of it. It actually does look quite meaty, even if it isn't necessarily a super outlandish design. I just like the way it looks. But anyway, turning our attention to the actual move itself. Again, the hammer, as you see here, it starts off with its uh, spinning attack. It then goes into firing off a slinger shot whilst charging. And of course, then ends in a uh, hefty slam. But if we turn our attention to the actual gameplay clips, the very first thing, again, they are focusing on here is the ability to fire the slinger mid-attack. And you can then, of course, go from there into your regular attacks. There's nothing kind of too new there in that first shot. But still, that versatility is going to be incredibly useful. You can then use that to trigger environmental traps, anything like that. Very handy. However, moving on to the second one, this is one of the really cool things. The actual audio description in the video, the UK versions, they give you some wider context. And they mentioned that for this one, you can use the slinger mid-charge. You actually notice that in this situation, the hunter is charging the hammer. They have that little subtle red glow around them. And they then fire off the slinger. And that little red glow is still present. And upon finishing firing the slinger, they then resume the charge stance. So it doesn't have to interrupt a charge. It appears to be something you can do in between, which is incredibly useful. Because when you think about it, you could then be charging up an attack. You could then use your slinger ammo to make the monster flinch, creating an opening, and then you could use that to then land a hefty, powerful charged swing. So, yeah, that's super cool. But the next one, this is uh, this is where things get crazy. So for this one, again, I've mentioned before that some of the meteor weapons, the heavier weapons, of course, they can when you grapple onto a monster using the clutch claw. You can weaken or you can soften up the hide as they use kind of in the typical marketing spiel, but you can basically weaken the area so that then subsequent attacks will actually do more damage. But in this situation, what's really cool is, you know that crazy spinning kind of cartwheel move you do when you slide down a ledge that looks really cool? Well, you'll notice that when he grapples on, he actually half performs that whilst he's reeling himself in. So he's sort of like reeling himself in like a yo-yo, spinning at the same time whacking with the hammer, which is crazy, but then it doesn't even stop there. Then of course he grapples on, he then grabs his hammer, charges it up for a big jumping slam attack. So uh, whew, that's that's going to be cool. That is going to be very, very cool. But yeah, again, I just, I love to see just how much personality they've kind of worked into the weapons when factoring in the clutch score, because it's one of those things that you think about the claw and you think about how it will work quite well with, you know, fast moving weapons. You kind of think, all right, sword and shield with a claw. That sounds great. Dual blades with a claw. But the fact that every single weapon has had that awesome treatment means that even if you've got a meaty heavy weapon, even if it doesn't physically make sense, you're going to be able to do some really cool stuff. But anyway, that's the hammer. Super looking forward to that. Super looking forward to uh, checking that out. So of course, stay tuned because we're going to be going over the hunting horn as well. So for those of you guys that want to know about that, that'll be on the channel very shortly. And of course, keep it locked for plenty more Monster Hunter videos. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.